Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beam Toyota in Nashville. Uh, you guys asked for it, so here we go. I'm going to take this XLE Toyota Sienna, the all hybrid 2021 Toyota Sienna, and take you on a test drive in this vehicle. This is the XLE middle of the road, pretty much. Um, so we'll talk about it as we're going here. I'll give you some insight on the uh, the vehicle, and then we'll uh, we'll kind of go from here, and we'll have some we'll have us a good time. So um, definitely uh, definitely like subscribe, and let's have a ride. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start it here. All right. Now you notice on the hybrid. Now I'm showing the side door here that we just got in. Uh, you'll notice on the hybrid that there is almost no noise guys so um, the engine runs when it needs to hybrids are a little bit different um, we'll talk about those as we go a little bit as well um, give you a uh, like I said a few things on the uh, vehicle so we can have, uh, have a little bit of fun so you guys tell me what you think we're gonna um, kind of go here and we'll have some fun so heading out very easy to drive vehicle um it's uh it's big of course which is what a minivan is it's one of the reasons you guys buy them um but uh it's a very very nice vehicle very smooth drive all your safety systems are on here your toyota safety sense is on here uh, so you have your safety sense 2.0 you got your lane departure lane tracing dynamic radar cruise control i'll show you this here too so if you hit this brake hold and you come to a stop you can actually get this hold that shows up here. It'll actually hold the brake until we hit the gas. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and we'll get us on the highway here. So while we're going, we'll be able to uh, have a little bit of fun. Um, all right, digital speedometer, of course, here in the center. Um, it's uh, you got your large display, of course. Um, you can actually pause live radio, it's really cool. So, um, rear controls, um, some of the controls have um or some of the vans have four stage the other ones have three stage so or, or sorry three zone four zone three zone uh air conditioning so if you kind of come up you can kind of see how i'm you know adjusting the uh temperature here you can put it to the temperature and you can um work for your rear and you can go, all right well, i want the rear a little bit colder rear a little bit warmer whatever you can do all of that um come back and then and you're back to the front so definitely really cool so this one has your four stage driver passenger left rear right rear four stage air con air conditioning guys it's really cool so um now if you're in the third row well you're you're on your own so you know hope you like the people in the second row because they're going to control your temperature so self-dimming rear view mirror um like i said got the brake hold on here it will hold the car until i don't need it to I'm gonna turn my lane tracing on right here. And I'm gonna arm right here. My radar cruise, uh, pretty bumpy here, but uh, all right, we'll get back to it here. The zero to 60 times really good. You got about 245 horsepower or so in here. Um, very, uh, very good uh, um, acceleration. Also, you've got, like I said, your lane departure. It'll actually vibrate the steering wheel. So if you do this, it's actually going to put this little vibration here on the steering wheel. And uh, it is a very nice ride. So what I do want to do is I'm going to kind of come off to the side here. We have a little box on it, on these. So um, Bear with me here. I'm just going to pause here for a fast second. I'm going to take this box off the window. Uh, you guys are probably hearing the uh, wind noise from the box, which is this. So those boxes are actually what we... Uh, there we go. So, but those boxes are actually what we uh, house the keys in. So I wanted to make sure that that wasn't... Uh, something that was in our way so plenty of power as we need it four cylinder engine now guys so 
they did have in the Sienna, they did have the six cylinder for the longest time, 3.5 liter six. That ended in the 2020. Now we have a hybrid. And you'll also see while we're in cruise control, by the way, if I put this in cruise, you'll see lane tracing. So the lane tracing will actually help you steer, which you can see it's steering itself right now. So, but uh, uh, anyway, so now we're into the four cylinders, uh, 2.5 liter four cylinder hybrid. Um, you get 36 miles per gallon in this guy's, and that's not 36 highway, 36 city, that's 36 combined because it's identical highway, identical city. So 36, 36, 36. Uh, the old one got in your mid 20s, so you're getting about 10 miles per gallon better than what you got in the old one, guys. So it's a uh, very, very nice ride, of course. I mean, you see how. Uh, Everything's very smooth. If you cross the lane, you'll get your bump on your steering wheel. Um, if you don't use your uh, turn signal, if you use your turn signal, that won't do that. So, just a, uh, you've got your um, roadside assist, uh, so it'll show you your street signs as it sees them. Uh, different, uh, you know, different systems can be set up a little bit differently, so. I'm going to talk specifically about the system. If you want to see uh, about the differences in between the systems uh, and the trim levels, check out my trim level series. That's the TTLS, the Toyota trim level series. Um, I go through each trim level for you guys on that. So um, if you want to know the difference between the XLE and the XSE and uh, all wheel drives and front wheel drives and things along those lines, um, definitely we can do that and just go through those. Um, there are a little bit longer videos that show individual things on each one. This is more meant to be a uh, just just a test drive, a conglomerate of uh, everything here. So you can just take a ride. Same way we take a test drive when you guys come here and, and uh, ride with me, drive with me, and we'll, uh, we'll put you into a nice new Sienna and you guys can uh, drive it home and we'll all say you bought it from me and be very happy. So um, now you do have your. Uh, intermittent wipers of course on all of them uh, you got EV mode your power mode um, you got your brake hold like we talked about uh, eco you have your wireless phone charger up here uh, your key wireless phone charger um, you'll notice over here where your RPM gauge would normally be is actually a uh, eco charge and power gauge so it kind of sees how you're driving um, I mean, on a full full tank of gas, you guys are going to go, uh, I believe, I'm trying to remember the size of the tank, but I believe you're somewhere around 600 miles on a full tank of gas, uh, which is kind of nuts. So, uh, I mean, I, there's a lot of us that, you know, we'll fill up twice a week just trying to get to work. And it's nice not to have to worry about that. Um, size of the car, you don't really notice it when you're driving. You don't, uh, it doesn't feel too big. It feels, you know, like a normal car. So, um, you know, if you're you're used to driving a smaller car, it, it's not going to be something crazy uh, to get used to. So, um, it feels very comfortable as you're driving. It's uh, it's built on the K chassis, so it's on the same car or, or same chassis as the Camry, uh, the Corolla, the Rav4, um, the Venza, um, I believe the Avalon as well. Just off the top of my head. Um, uh, there might be one more, but um, it's on that same chassis. So um, I have so much information in my head. Sometimes it gets a little bit, a uh, little bit all jammed together. But you guys understand that. Um, now this one, obviously, you got your heated seats right here. When you have your leather, now your LE won't have that. Uh, you'll have your ventilated seats on your upper levels. Um, you can have that dynamic or that um, digital rear view mirror um, on your limited or on your platinum. Um, so that's actually a pretty cool feature too. So check those out, but those are only on your top two levels, like I've mentioned. Um, so, uh, definitely, uh, take a look at those, uh, that video that I just did on that. That's a very cool feature, all adjustable in that. So, um, sometimes it's worth, it's worth going up to the next level. Sometimes it's not. See, if you like the features, one of the reasons I do that trim level series is so you can see which features you have to have. Um, and what comes standard and or optional in whichever trim level that you might be considering. So, um, 
definitely uh, working on doing that now. Uh, I did not uh, get to show you a whole lot on the dynamic radar cruise control. This right here actually controls the distance that you're going to follow the car ahead of you. It's a really cool feature. Also, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. Um, if it sees that a wreck's imminent, it's going to give you that break and it's going to, you know, hit your brakes for you. So, um, that's something to, uh, to know as well. Um, but you can see how smooth the car drives. It's, I mean, the turning radius is awesome. The speed that, you know, you're zero to 60 time. I mean, I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but I can tell you that it, it does not have an issue gaining speed. Um, it's very quiet as you drive. Uh, but of course, Toyotas are known for how quiet they are. Um, you know, the three things Toyota is known for efficiency, quiet, and reliability. Um, really, those three things, Toyotas, you know, they, they're top of the market for a reason when it comes to those. So, um, very, uh, very proud to say I work, uh, work with Toyotas, of course. So. Heading down, and just, uh, I'm actually going to take you guys down Music Row, by the way. So at least half of it. Um, so we're actually going to be uh, doing a Music Row run. We're coming past. Uh, I'm going to come past Belmont here. So some of my test drives, I try to take them a little bit different of a way. That way, you guys can uh, see some different things in Asheville. I have my downtown test drive of the, the Highlander at night. Got a, another test drive of a Highlander. Um, definitely some uh, different things. Um, but uh, yeah, coming up on the right here, you can have uh, Belmont. That was uh, recently in the news because they had the debate there. Um, series that I did in the XLE, you'll see how excited I am on how many things you get standard with just the XLE. Um, and, and I say just because, you know, you've got XLE, you go LE, XLE, um, and from the XLE you're going to go to your XSE, and then you'll go to your limited and your platinum. So you've got several trim levels that are above this one, but I mean, realistically, you're getting your heated seats in this one. Obviously, not ventilated seats, but you get your heated seats in this one. And, and Toyota safety is in all of them, of course. So, um, it's just uh, it's just a really nice feel. Um, it's uh, large screens, of course. You know, everything's touch screen now. Uh, backup cameras and everything. Um, now, you'll get uh, in... The XLE and above will have your power uh, tailgate that'll go up and down. You'll also have the kick sensors that uh, for kicking uh, the doors, the side doors and the back door open. Um, you'll have those as well once you get to the XLE, which that's actually fun to play with as well. Um, uh, you do have the opportunity if you want to, to put a hitch on it. But do note that if you put the hitch on there, then the rear kick sensor won't, won't work. Or would have to be disabled or, or removed if you actually do it from the factory. So um, you definitely uh, want to uh, do that. Um, you can always tell when you're in a tourist area. Um, by the way, this is the end of Music Row. This is the uh, naked statue, as everybody likes to talk about in Nashville, um, or as uh, one of my customers called it at one point, the roundabout, um, which is this uh, nice little roundabout here. So I. Uh, 
I've always called it the roundabout every time, ever since that uh, particular customer told me that. So, um, yeah, a statue in downtown Nashville. Make something beautiful. There you go. Um, coming around, that's Demumbrian that's over here. That's actually uh, pretty big for the bar scene down there. Um, and then we're popping back over here towards Broadway. So, um, I'm just... Uh, Always a, a fun drive, giving you guys a little bit of scenic view in Nashville as well while we do the, uh, the test drives on these uh, on some of these vehicles so you guys can get a feel for uh, how they drive. I do know that my uh, phone mount that I've got recording there does bounce a little bit. So um, if there's a couple of extra, like just right there, there's a couple of extra bounces. It's really not that dramatic um, on the inside of the car. I've made that thing as rigid as I can make it. So. Um, just realized that some of those bounces are uh, a little bit extra just because of how I had the phone, you know, my camera phone out in there. So um, we're turning back into the uh, into the store here. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that ride. Um, it is a fun, I guess that's a fun ride to do. Um, so I do uh, I do love doing it. I uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, hanging out with me, spending some time with me. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. By the way, you can see a backup camera here. Um, but let me know if you guys have any questions on the new Sienna. I'm always happy to answer those. And uh, a lot of times you guys give me ideas for new videos. And um, if you guys do that, I'm always uh, more than happy to, to take care of you and you know do what, do what we gotta do to, um, to have some fun. So I'm um, Steve Welch, BMW Toyota. I hope you guys are, uh, are um, having good days and um, hopefully uh, you're coming into summer here we're going to be all right and uh, I do appreciate one of you guys so definitely like subscribe let me know if there's anything that you guys want more than happy to help Steve Walsh be my Toyota you guys have a good one see ya